Hello, hello, guys. Uh, here we have an Asus laptop that is not turning on, not charging the battery, and is not turning on at all. Anyway, uh, I did check the 19 volts. There was a 19 volts, and I did check the 3.3, and there was a 3.3 volts on the board. Check the power button. Uh, there was 3.3 volts, and check the power chip on pin number eight, and uh, there was. This is my power chip. Check the power chip. It was a uh, 3.3 volts. Anyway, the issue here we have a short here. This coil shorted, not the coil itself, but the power rail shorted to to ground. So, so I believe this is 3.3, and the other one is five. It's five volts, and I did confirm that this was a uh, five volts. How did I check? See here we have a USB ports and a VGA and the HDMI ports, right? So what do we know about the, the USB ports? The USB ports they have a chip more like a transistor that allow the 5 volts go on the USB ports when the machine is turned is turned on. So what I did this what I did was I checked here on the other side of this uh, transistor and there was a short ground so it means uh, this is coming straight from from here it means this is uh, 5 volts it means the 5 volts is shorted to ground anyway I know you will be confused but uh, let's go ahead let's check under the microscope I uh, you know you will see everything and we will find the shorts but I think the shorts coming from the, from the MOSFET that's my guess. I, I'm, I'm just guessing anyway. Or maybe it's coming from the capacitor, but I don't know, guys. But in my case, I think it's coming from from the from the MOSFET. Anyway, let's go ahead. Uh, let me come to. Huh? Round. This is 3.3 volts. And here we have a transistor. So what uh, what does this thing do is take the five volts and allow it to pass only when the machine is turned on. You know the five volts is only uh, it's only uh, running or it's only turned on when the machine itself is turned on. When the machine is off but the charger is connected, you'll have three point three and you'll have five volts, but you won't have five volts on the USB ports. But on this other side, you will have five volts. But on this other side don't have any any five volts anyway guys uh this is it five volts is shorted to ground let's find a short find a short maybe it's coming from the capacitor i don't know guys but let's go ahead let's check together okay here we are uh those are two mosfets i was telling you about and uh this is the So let's go ahead let's check okay so guys um here we have this chip as i'm gonna call it a transistor i think this is a transistor because what it does is when you check this side you will find the five five volts but on this other side you won't have any five volts if the machine turned off you'll only get the five volts on this side when the machine is turned on so this is more like a transistor so what do I know about this? There is a short here on the five volts. It means it means uh, coming from coming from here. This is five volts coming from from here. Anyway, guys, let's inject five volts here and see what is getting what is getting hot. So what do we do? You inject the five volts there, five volts, and then you will see power supply is taken. Okay, this is good. My power supply is set to to five volts. Okay, it's taking one amp.
too. Something is getting hot. Okay, now I can see the problem is here. Let's have a look under the microscope. Problem is here. The problem is here, guys. Uh, we have a short here. Something was getting hot here, right? And when I check now, you can see that this capacitor doesn't look good at all. So, I do this. Add capacitor for shorts. You see. Okay, this is shorted to ground. So what do we do? We have to remove this bad capacitor. Okay, anyway, so what we do is uh, we have to check this capacitor. Okay, capacitor is shorted, but let's have a proof. Uh, let's go back where the short was coming from, and then we need to check there. There is no short anymore. Uh, there is no short. Let me show you my meter. I want to show you. Check there. Short more. No shorts anymore guys. Anyway, I'm just gonna assemble it uh, back together and then see if it's working or, or not.